Greetings. My name's Cowboy Two. Mage, Cowboy, and General Magic Extraordinaire. And I thought, well, what make a more comfortable video than a game that I'm intimately familiar with? Enter the dungeon. I think I'll start things off with a nice and simple pilot run. Show everything the dungeon has to offer. While just trying to adjust to making videos. My first proper video. Ever since I made one of me just fighting the rat. Like a couple years back. Since then, a lot has happened. Very well. I was a college, but not much else. Now, when it comes to games, I am one to think that perfection is a thing that one the people go on and talk about. But I'm willing to make an exception from Dungeon because I also think it's extremely well designed. From risk award to balance to ramp and difficulty. Bam and lock picked in work that time. Either way, I, re I remember completing the, the PS4 version 100%. Everything is up to the finished gun. Now, the version I'm playing right here is the Steam version. So, I ain't exactly got everything at the moment. So, it's just a matter of just getting everything back. Ooh, and I can front her. Rather dangerous enemy, if you ask me. But, just like any other, it's all about practice. Ah, granted. Sometimes practice won't make up for stupid mistakes like that. Now, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm exploring the floor, mostly, it's an essential to explore the floor, in, the, in which it's money. The ability to buy health, the keys, guns, that's a major motivation to fully explore floors. Unlike in other roguelikes like Isaac, where you can potentially skimp out on a room or two on the floor. I feel as if Gungeon's a bit better balanced with natural combat mechanics with dodge rolls and maneuvering, lending yourself to maneuver the much larger rooms, leading to a lesser risk of being hurt. Thus allowing the riskier expeditions to more rooms, being less likely to pan out and be losing health. And when it comes to details, I also feel like the game is unmatched. Destructible objects, little lamps that you can shoot out. They even affect the lighting a bit. You notice here, there's a shadow. I'm in a shadow, now I'm in the light. Now there's no light. Little details like that. This is one of the main reasons why I love this game. I'm playing this game way back when, back during the demo days. And then immediately shelling out for the PlayStation 4 version, and what do we have here? Ooh, ooh, now that is risky, but of course that's well worth it, you ask me. Now, that item I picked up just now, a Mimic Tooth Necklace. Now every chest I encounter from now on will be a mimic, reducing my need for keys, but the cost of every chest being a mimic.
And then I always go I always personally go for the bonus floors. Well at least the first one, the oubliette. Because I I think the blobby lord is a sort of a pushover boss. Also some of those room arrangements more of a danger than that than Blobby Lord himself. Now, some I don't remember is if that Mimikyu's necklace also extends to the pedestal mimics. Uh, ideally it wouldn't be because honestly, the pedestal, pedestal mimics give me much more trouble than regular mimics. Well, we guess we'll just have to see. Now, also it's a bit of a bad idea to try and solo a boss with your starting gun after being out of practice for like a year. But um, what better way to see if I still got it? I see my brain still goes on autopilot. Anyways, right now, right. I got hit for a sec. Now, I probably didn't need to use a blank there, but I ain't trust myself enough. Now, when it comes to the bullet king, honestly, I think these big wide circles are the best way to best way to go around them. Though honestly, it's a better situation if you're below him. So my current situation is constantly being above him is not ideal. Now this is a sort of ideal situation. Ideally he'd be above. And ah, choked at the last minute. You know, it's moments like that, fine change. But the best part of Gungeon is one fail does not spell doom. And Isaac, I feel as if a bad run a bad go of things for spell your doom. Ooh, and that is indeed the case. I thought I used both my blanks already. I pick up one extra blank? I don't remember. Uh, frankly, I ain't sure how I enjoyed getting hit there, but... Now I could have gone a mic better, but yeah, you know, feel like I could have used that earlier. Hmm. Well, since I won't need keys anymore, <laughs> am I gonna fight the rat? Tell you what, I'll chance it. If I die, I'll just end the video, I suppose. Gungeon, it's all about mental, mental focus. If you keep a straight head about you, you can just about make it. And of course, I'm immediately encountered with a room that hates me. Those platform rooms, while I wouldn't say they're badly designed, I can never keep up with them. Now, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to move her around without having to go through it. I have them on occasion. Occasionally, the room generation will mean you don't have to go through a particular tricky area. Which, of course, some could say that removes the entire point of challenge, but. The way I think of it, anytime an exploit is available and you don't have to, and the dev doesn't have to remove it, I think of it as intentional from that point onward. A dangerous throw to get that close, and frankly, I ain't sure how I avoided that scatter shot. It's all about keeping your, mind, your mind's eye trained off everything at once. The way I go about it is the trickiest enemies first, and if I can't decide which one is the trickiest, I just go for quickest. 
because one less enemy means one less source of bullets. Now, I know what you're thinking. Most of you call the pilot the weakest gun, weakest guns in the air. Personally, I believe is he has quite benefits and reduce shot mostly because reduce shot prices, extra active extra item slot, and the ability to lock pick. Some of my greatest runs started out by being able to pick out an extra lock. Having to save the key can lead to some great things. So granted, I suppose it's all moot now. Ooh. I could have thought I could have just walked past it. Here's our first free chase. Come on, trailer. Hyperlight Blaster. A reference to Hyperlight Drifter. Fortunately, it's a game I never played. From aware, I think, based off the mechanic of the gun, you hit, you have a limit of ammo, and hitting stuff gives you ammo. Granted, it's a limited understanding, so I could be off. I probably am. Now, you see, the best way I went to do veteran cans, shotgun cans, oh, well, Rick got me. But either way, best way I think of dealing with veteran shotgun cans. Is to occasionally just stand still to lock on you, thinking next position will be in that same spot, and then you can move with impunity. Of course, uh, one of my minor gripes for Gungeon is screen shake, occasionally messing up your positioning. And by position, I meant mental positioning. Hard to tell where you are gonna be. In relation to bullets when the screen's shaking. But once you learn enough about bullet patterns, you can sort of see where bullets are gonna go in your mind die, even when the ground's shaking. So granted my mind's eyes are a wee bit rusty. Dungeon's a game about having a mental stat. Yeah, I prioritize. Now, these fellas, you occasionally see these. Actually, I don't remember, what, I don't remember them being on um, this one. Now, I hate those spirit bullets. I found myself confounded by them more than once. But I don't think I have to go into that trap room for the beginning of the floor. I think I can get away from that scot free. Which is always good in my place. And also with the money we're saving and making, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to buy the heat for the rat fight. I have enough blanks for access it at least. Well, yeah, for sure, we will not be needing to go through that trap room. Trap room, platform room, yeah. As you saw there, my mental stack wasn't trap room. 
stack. These niggas just get so ignorant, get hit immediately. The best way to deal with these is to put a wall between yourself and them. Any sort of obstacle, really. And I know it's tempting to get rid of the enemy making bouncy bullets everywhere. But with the adjustment that makes bullets shoot, give out coins when they die, I think it's good to leave it to last. So when it dies and splits off into little minions, you can strike them down. Get all the money. Now, with the last one being a gun, it should be an item. My question is, will it be active? Ah, the nuclear option. Will be useful. I mean, more useful than our lockpick, which you know sort of makes the pilot seem sort of redundant now. Now we have here ourselves one genuine vampire. Puts a whole new meaning on the phrase "blood money." Ah, but this room we would really have to go to. That could have gone a wee bit better. Now, I think I'll be able to hit this. Now, if I remember correctly, the pilot's extra item slot also gives you a bit of extra ammo. I said I was going to use that Hyper Light Blaster Gun, but then I didn't. Also, I remember how Blobby Lord was a pushover, and now I'm all hit away from death. You see, life is funny like that. Now, I wasn't aware it had a semi blank on the back. I underestimate the power of nuclear armaments. Now, nah, that went a mite better than I thought. Well, well, we got some turtles. Crisis Stone. I haven't seen that in quite a minute. Uh, let me try and remember real quick. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, it works as if if I fully reload a weapon, I get a little shield. It makes me invulnerable. Yep, there we go. Sorry, I ain't moved for paying for blood money. I need all the health I can get. With us as I am, I'm better mistaken as a robot. Now. See that crest I have? That red crest? You want to keep that nice and tough. Nice and tucked close. As in, safe. You don't want to get hit while you got it. Because that's the key for the next floor. Now, knowing my luck, I'm about to get hit. But should I not, I'll be able to show y'all the next secret floor. Well, perhaps secret ain't the right word. Oh, I ain't noticed. The crisis, I'm pretty sure that's Crisis Stone doing that. Makes a little reload sort of sound. Now what you saw there was a phase spider. The worst combination, spider and bullet. Now. Ooh. That'd be 
spooked. Now, with the item, the place where I put in this red crest, sure is usually connected to a special room, be it the shop or a, a chest here. And as you saw, picking up another armor piece does not protect your crest. So it definitely makes you play in your A game. I see you lose it. I apologize. I'm not talking a bit more, but I am trying to play that A game. Ooh. Now that was what we call mighty close. It's probably a better way to navigate around that. But the fact that I made it is plus to me. Now, did that just die to the turtles? I wasn't even sure if that was a thing. Now, this should be the room. And here we have it. And, as a little bonus, you don't lose the quote-unquote armor from the crest. Now, let's see what this blue just gives us. Now, that initial bullet, that's a real danger. You don't want to get hit by it. It's a jammed bullet. Meaning, you'll take double damage. Well, on health anyway. Most bullets take away only one half a heart. But you get hit by one of those those black and red bullets, that'll take away a full heart. Trust me, in this game, you want everything you can get. And just in case we feel a bit afraid, we got our nuclear option ready once again. Now, if I recall, that little shrine, it gives you, uh, you change, I think, a heart or ammo, which, I frankly, I, never, I don't think I ever used it. I never find myself so right for the low ammo, I'd be willing to part with it, a heart permanently. Seems we got another confirmer. Have. Frankly, I wish we had a better. Uh... Oh, there's a jammed bullet. They're stronger, faster, uh, healthy, I suppose. But they give you a bit more money. The jam damage is more likely to appear. You got curse. They come from different items. And little deals. My, sir, my current only source of curse is my current is that red telephone I got. Suppose the blasphemous nuclear weapons are blasphemous, which you no, know, concerned the danger. I can get it. Now, I ain't quite too sure about this phrase, banana bomb. Ain't too sure where it came from. I know it's a weapon of worms, but I don't, I don't, if I remember correctly, that ain't where it came from. Oh, now I'm all that. Now, if I remember correctly, that one's the, uh, actually, I don't remember. I think it's a knockback one. Yeah, it seems good. Ooh, now that's a shame. Now, ordinary, I'd like to have at least 
a couple heart containers if I'm gonna fight the next the boss of the next war. But that may not be crucial. Wow, well, perfect in my fair share of Gorgons. I've definitely had my time getting hit. But, oh, this seems to be going well. Yeah, you know, I got wood. I think I'll be able to get it. Now, would you look at that? Man, to do it. Now, I don't remember are both of these. I know that's a hard up and it's a Dark Souls thing. I die and get to come back. Alright, so it's just the one. Now we're up two hearts. It's not we never messed up on that first floor. Ah, let's not forget what we came here for. Ooh, I, uh, oh, I have just enough if I want it. Now it's a trade-off. More money if I get hit. Well, what kind of cowboy would I be if I didn't take a risk? Now I think my hard gun is is a might better room clearing weapon than a charge shot. Not only because we're about to run out of ammo on it. The Abbey of the True Gun. The second, quote unquote. Well, I'm not sure if it's quote unquote. Either way, it's the next floor. Extra floor. Now, I'm pretty sure jammed enemies just spawn in here naturally. Now, I know it's that effect on hit. That's because of my armor. It activates a blank when you're hit. When you look that, an extra blank just for us. Ah, I always hate these enemies. Luckily, we didn't have to deal with them. The hardest part in dungeon is the long fights. Can't afford to lose focus. Now we have ourselves some cardinals. Fortunately, they had a cardinal sin facing us. Now I ain't sure if that makes sense or not. I don't think it did. And our vampire friend is here yet again. Look what I made right choice flipping that table over. Another famous thing with Gungeon. Flipping over tables. Great portable cover. Although, not just portable, temporary. You wanna get rid of these fellas real fast. Otherwise, they'll boost enemies. Alright, granted, for that, it just makes them faster. Well, these are mostly a waiting game. Now that was just because I wanted to get him done quick. Because I think we'll be able to get him a charge. Now, I don't, I don't recall, I never spoke about what made this bag risky. What makes it risky is it gives, it makes enemies drop more money. 
but you get hit, you'll drop money. And you gotta pick it up before it disappears. Not all your money, but a good chunk. It's enemies that read your movements. All the more dangerous. Or at least if you care about your money. Which, how I play, I do. One good shot can turn a bad run to a winner. Now, also, you, you all from those, we are spawning turtles. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I have no clue what, how the item works. Now, I think it's a better backup weapon than the banana. So I think I'll be using it but now instead of moving up. Mahogany. That's why. Now, I've always been a fan of these rooms. Even if you got melee in there, it makes it completely useless. Well, it's a bit of an eye in it. Get all these keys. Now, we're still missing the other chest. Let's go and find that real quick. Because in this next boss, you'll want to be ready. And another puzzle room that we'll be able to completely go around. Well, I ain't sure if puzzle's the right word for it. They're all the same, you won't be going through it. Well, we. Ooh, and as you can see, there's money on the ground. And we and we lost them. Ah, just a brown chest. Now that's something. Sorry, lockpick, but you're functionally useless. Now, there's a secret room here. If you shoot the walls with a non-starting non weapon, you can be able to reveal secret walls. Now, the Abbey always has two secret rooms. But, uh, I'll be honest with you. I usually always check by item rooms. I'm sorry, that's an Isaac term. The chest rooms. I'm going to go with this. Now, this is a might similar to the book, King. You could even call it, he is better. And by that, I mean, he is his better. Much like the Blob Lord. You ain't finding anyone else on this floor. This fella. But as you can see, he makes up for it for being much more difficult. All sorts of tricks up his sleeves. And jammed bullets. Catch you on fire. All sorts of things. Ooh. Now this is a true test of your mental stat. 
As you can see, I lost him. I'm losing. It's very easy to get tilted. Lose everything. Uh, frankly, I ain't sure if we'll be able to deal with the rat. I know I said we got a mimic teeth necklace, but there are two types of chests that will still remain unlocked, still remain locked. That being a synergy chest, what we got here, of being a random item, or one makes a synergy. Now, I think I don't remember what the synergy does. Definitely makes it different, all right. But there's a red, uh, there's a red outcome that just gives you a random item. The other chest is a rainbow chest. They could either just be rainbow or disguised as a brown chest. Either way, no mimics. I mean, there's also something called a glitch chest, but that's even more rare and not worth it if you ask me. Now, most enemy bullets won't break things like chest, so I like using them on my shields. You know, rare instance, I get a, I get a chest and thing, a chest and enemy in the same room. Now that we got a holy grail, if I remember correctly, it uh, gives us a blank and ammo when we get hit. We got what we need. Let's check the shop real quick. No. Twenty-eight. You see, that's enough for us to make to make our money back. Because the pilot has has a special deal. Where he gets percentage off. And I think we get the blank because we'll be needing two of them next floor to get the rat. Just remember, keep that mental stack. Lose focus, and they can all go off balance. Nearly bit the dust against the old Iron Lord. And the most dangerous threat in the dungeon is an unseen threat. Now. When you, if you want to fight the rat, you got the key. You want to keep lookout. One of these rooms will be filled with rats. And that will be a room with. You got to do a little bit of a looking in. stack. Now if we play our cards right, I think we'll be able to survive. Man, 
can, as you see here, on the map, well, once it pops back up, you'll notice we have a plan locked behind the door, no less. Now, it's gonna be a bit rude, but we ain't gonna talk to him right now. If you wanna explore the entire floor, except the boss room, before you talk to him, you get a free item. Now, I ain't sure why I decided to fight him here. It's a terrible idea. But a little body like this definitely makes the trip a lot easier. You want to use everything in the room to your advantage. Lips the corners. Ah, and as you can see from the rats, this is our target destination. No matter is, is where in the room is a specific something something. Now, we want to walk around the ground. As you notice, a bit you kick up dust, but in some you kick up a big dust. Walk around a bit, you see someone emerge. And it's a door. Now, if you want to go and fight it right now, you can go ahead and do that. But I'd rather explore a bit more. The next step requires a bit more effort. I want to make sure we're set. This is where you, I, honestly, I'd say the third floor is when your mental stat gets tested, really. You start having to focus from threats all around you. You start getting surrounded. Unconventional bullets. Unconventional enemies. You think you're fighting someone right now. You're fighting an illusion. Now these fellas are as harmful as a flower. They would shoot around with you. So you could stay still in the statue and you'll be fine. Now, a useful thing about weapons like that is penetration. Now, where is that food? Now, a good thing Gungeon does is it brings about old enemies and new flavors. I don't see. That Holy Grail left us all loaded up. Only I would miss a point blank shot. Now, if I deal, we'd buy some health. Now that's tempting. Invincibility. But I think what we got now of buffing our weapons and having a high power exclusive that acts as a blank or mini blank, I think that's too bad to give up. Now, yeah, some note those webs are indeed flammable. So if you wish, you could set fire to it and set the spider on fire to fasten it. slow to burn, but it definitely helps them take more less time to kill. 
Now, if you try a map explorer, we go to him, talk to him. We got a complete map. Then we have a little something, something. Ah, the ride gun. Personal favorite of mine. In fact, I think if we can. Nice. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I think like this. We can have a grand old time. The door lord. Now that's has a rare chance of replacing any boss. Like a mimic. I actually ain't sure if the mimic neck if the mimic necklace increases the chance of it spawning. But we're fighting it now. Whack. Ooh. Ain't getting the flowers on this one. I definitely tripped up around there. Nice. I definitely ain't sure if we can make it. Doing, and I think the oil and cylinder makes it reload faster. Which, uh, ironically, is pretty bad with the rat gun, considering you want that little slow as possible so you can hit it. Now, something you have to do before you fight the rat is you have to memorize a pattern. Because, and what I assume is in each save file, is a different pat. You have to go through a maze, and I think each pattern, each file, save file has a different pattern. So let's check mine. Gotta go all the way down to the bottom of items. In various different situations, treasure will be replaced with a note. But once you got them all, you won't have to worry about that anymore. And that cheese at the bottom will have to tell will tells you which direction to go. Right, left, right, down, left, right. Right, left. Right, left, right. Personally, I like to do three directions, then look. Now, if you if you feel lucky, you can do it with only five, but you'll be guessing in that last direction. I won't even try more than that. Right. And if I remember correctly, this floor has set enemies. Meaning, this, this little fella will always be damned. Remember quickly? Yep. We got another one. The damn enemies, especially ones like these, you'll definitely want to not take any risk against. Luckily, it killed itself. Rarely. Nice when it happens. Not any too useful, but that is. Now, right, left, right. And I think we, we go down. So I'll have to check after that. Ooh. That ain't fun.
Ooh. That's a mistake on my part. Now we go down. We went down. Left, right. This ain't good. Okay, now that won't fail. No foes here. Implicates you're right there. Nah, man. I think these are our best weapons. Now nah, I think I'm gonna start this one out with a bang. Ooh, I see that was just terrible. Now I get it. It's the power of the ice. It slows him down. So I think we're gonna do this hand over fist. Alright, granted, I don't think that's how the phrase goes, but we'll be able to do it, is what I'm saying. Now this is for you Metal Gear fans out there. Now, if you want to attack, uh, technique, you can target specific areas, and I do that. Because that attack right there, won't be able to do if you destroy it, if you destroy parts. Ooh, but I'm hemorrhaging health bad. Shout fans. Now, let's see if I remember how to play. Uh, let's see. Uh... Now, forgive me, this may not be my best performance. If I can be in first try, that'd be pretty nice. Now, you can get a shot in there, but... Personally, I ain't too fond of it. Nor one in this place. Stop it. That just ain't good. <laughs> Got 
got the fool. Ooh, now I'm choking on him. Would have loved to finish him with a super, but beat him all the same. You can listen to his story if you want, but personally, I ain't interested. Ooh, and I got more curse. Nah, we got a whole arsenal. I think sticking in. One of these will do for now. Get a whole bunch of things being the rat, too. And I know what you're thinking. You can't game the system by having mimics. This fellow will say. Nope. Can't all be mimics. But that's what these keys are for. Now, they actually can be mimics. Just not all of them. Now with this, it gives you much more items. Space for items. The cheese turns into Pac-Man. Which lets you walk. I think it makes you move faster and you can walk across gaps for a bit. Now with this, you get a new infinite gun, which I forgot about. And we'll be using because it's it's good. It also turns into the rat. Won't have to worry about your stuff getting stolen if you leave it behind. And if you have Master Key, you could go straight to the forge. But we ain't going there, because we have another person to meet. Another extra floor to go down. I know it's a bit long for a first proper video, but... Actually not, but it just is rather long. I can't deny that. But, as you can see, the gun covers your enemies in cheese. Slows them down, and, uh, well, it makes puddles of cheese, which other enemies get. I'll, I'll be fully honest with you, there ain't a lot of use to it. Well, logic. I mean... You know what they say, don't look to get close enough. And I completely forgot there were zombies. Now, I'll be honest with you, I think we have enough where we don't have to worry about items. But I think we'll just pass by any items we pass like just we see the boss, we'll just beat the boss and just stay on. Oh uh oh. That's right now. Nah. Oh, we got like, it's very easy to have all the tools to want to run and then You have the tool you need, and everything else is just sort of dressing on the cake. Granted, it's no excuse to keep your mental load, like. Now we got a bomb.
and now we're almost there. This one's got... And we're instantly kill it. Uh, I can't say I expect it to be different like really. Uh, this is your usual style to how rooms are generated, but the only one I really know for certain is the one for the last level. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Correct the Monday. But let's see if we can get some from our shop. Now, funny thing about that, that skeleton with a helmet. The ordinary skeletons are immune to things such as fire and poison. But once they put on a helmet, they're just as vulnerable as everybody else. It make much sense, but it's a weakness. Ah, now we got a great item with Gun Knight Greaves. It was just a free piece of armor every floor. For once, we get to use this mechanic. Had been in a later update, there's the ability to save hearts. Pull up on health, you can save it to a machine. That spawns in shots and at the end of floors. And this trailer is exactly that ain't what I meant to do. No. We don't need this. Drop three items into here. And you'll be granted something quite wonderful. Mm. Well, three items in a master round, of which we only had one. Now, our third item, what one am I parting with? Yeah, I don't mind you. Now nah, he's supposed to be slithering off. But I mean, they have the animation anyway, so. There's occasional glitches like that. Which, I mean, they're minor, you know, in all the end things. But when it comes to bosses, I think this combination will get us through. Granted, it'd be much easier if I didn't waste. If I didn't waste our uh, nuclear option. Ooh, what this? You see, at the tip of the edge, it makes a that wall of bullets. You get rid of one, you ain't gotta worry about it. So you essentially have a free area. I think we'll be able to earn a new one. Now with this, we'll be able to become invincible. And just like that. A perfect. Now then, let's move on. I'm not familiar with too fond of that weapon. Let's see what else we get. It's very interesting that the pedestal mimics give you a bonus item. Draw bees and another gun. Now I suppose the bees ain't half bad. Now 
let's get this little fella. Now, the final update of the game added something quite important. That's right. Dog pen. Now, since we got the money, let's get ourselves some protection. And since we used them quite a bit of our rifle, that was not at all ammo. I, I can't exactly defend myself. I, I was just an idiot. And as you can see, we floated above that pit. Now, you saw when we went rainbow? That means you're invincible, too. I ain't ever been good enough to make use of it. But, it's there for those who can. Now, this is what I added in the last update, too. But I think it's the strangest area in the game. Adds things for, I presume, a cut area of the game. Like rattlesnakes, people dressed up in colonial attire, western attire. All sorts of things. But the thing is, this place is always set. As in, the layout will always be the same. Everything you see will be the same, all except the enemies, of course. But everything is just the same. Now, lead maidens, or I suppose in this case, refrigerator maidens are quite enough. I can't do this. No, I can't do that. I thought I could eat it. That was just a waste of charge. I got a cactus, little fella. Now, once I get more adjusted and more comfortable with myself, I'd be willing to recite off some spells for you. Oh, I forgot to mention these Dark Souls looking fellas. Oh man, there ain't no reason to explore it. Since there, it's, this floor has side rooms, despite the fact it's always the same. I ain't none too sure about why there's a shortcut either. Especially since it's a teleport. The whole floor is a sort of mystery to me. But honestly, the floor itself is sort of just it's just decoration for the real finale at the end. We'll be seeing that soon enough. And we still have ourselves there. A musket ball. Uh, I, I don't feel like finding these fools. I'm gonna just use the cheese and eat them up. Now, you see, here, there's a hallway leading back to it. For whatever reason. Now, any reasons for alongside with, I assume, a unused bullet patterns. They're also just carbon copies of regular ones. Here is where the magic happens. I saw this. I've been aiming for this. Well, that didn't quite work. A cam clock as a gunner. 
Mr. Liquid Snake himself. Uh, spams all sorts of bullets. Fight saver being able to reflect them. Yeah. You can see how that's going. With rapid fire sniper rifle power. Too much you can do. Ah, but you didn't win a Metal Gear, and you can't win here. Now, as you can see, the dark is barking. That's because, in addition to just digging up little treasure, it will also let you minutes. Now that's a good find. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you can find the uh, other types. Now all these guns are sort of all necessary when we got such a good gun like the cheese gun. But I mean, honestly, aside from the chest and extra gun, there ain't much reason to fight a gun again and again. Aside from unlocking some the first time. But here we are. If you're doing on your first run, this will be your last stop. Now, I ain't gonna wait for these fools. I'll just come now. Ah, and we have another source of energies right here. Now let's see what I would get. A synergy. I ain't gonna know what this is worth though. Ah. Unfortunately, I ain't, I ain't in the market. Frankly, I, I don't know why, except for that. I ain't really in the market for the guns. You know, one of the enemies I said was one of the easiest to deal with. Yeah. Now, that ain't iron. Now, there's an extra thing you want to worry about here. And that's that some enemies will be hiding. You notice these statues right here made of ash. In some rooms, enemies will be masquerading at them. And then much harder. And there's a one right there. But not hiding. I think I think one just uncovered himself right now. But the last thing you want to do is be trapped with one right behind you. Now we got a mini boss. Good old Blockman. Fight him once as part of a quest, and then he upgrades the mini, his ghost upgrades the mini boss status. You know, sometimes it don't matter how much practice you got, ain't gonna stop you from getting hit. Now 
now he got a chance. Uh, frankly, he's still useless, but it's nice to have him, I guess. Now, there is a merchant that trades in keys, but I don't think we're going to find him on this last floor. And we finally have too many items. And I can't ever remember the exact limit of items, like the exact limit of bonus items it gives you. I reached it. Our little dog friend can sometimes give you up an item. I think it's well deserved some pets, if you ask me. But we're in the home stretch now. Well, the almost home stretch. You see what I mean. I know I said we did our last bonus floor. Well, I don't think, actually, I don't think I said it directly, but, like, you, I'll explain. Not yet. Well, you saw that? A little dragon, a little final boss plan that even has a special treat. It's their own, it's their own special entrance door. On a chest. Now that ain't that something. We got a jam chest. I don't remember they spawned two items or not. No, it appears they don't. Quite a shame, Gaffney. So let's just switch things up here in case we switch. Another one. Let's see. Where is it? Let's just take care of them. Works with mimics too. They got particular you got mimic being particularly difficult. Ain't no problem. Now what I'm looking for is our final. Special shop ain't like the ones we've seen before. Oh, excuse me. Now, if there's another feature I hate, is that getting a new gun will swap it off, will swap off the gun you hold me. And here we have it. Homing bullets? Oh, you shouldn't have. Now, we got a bullet to kill the pads we want it. Now that's a good item to have, but we got so many items to switch to, I don't think it's worth it. But we got the money. Oh, it gives us curse, too. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. Might as well buy this, though. And we have yet another chest. These choice rooms of getting a chest, it makes it interesting. And now we got that this item. It gives it a chance to uh, map out a floor once you reach it. Like once you spawn on it. Frankly, it's like there's an another item to get for being, I think, a lich. Of the dungeon blueprint. Which acts as mapping for the entire run. Not just a chance. And I find that to be much better than just having a chance for that. Now, I remember Premier Snoochie, Canadian YouTube Northern Lion doing a challenge room. 
finishing her with one health and dying immediately after. Also, the fuser item is gone. So that was literally pointless. But you know what? This happens. Ain't no one to do about it. Uh, actually, I don't think we do. It's a spawning issue, probably. Probably won't. Probably is like not want an item. Badger probably doesn't want items to spawn in like hallways, so just made him not. Which, I mean, it means our item was eaten, but I ain't exactly much we can do about that. Now these types are interesting, are an interesting uh, as you say the least. You shoot it once, you shoot the stream of fire for a little bit. Before just sealing up. Burning out. Thank you, sure. But if you look earlier in a run, you know, it's those hot, those hot, um, oh, I got you could have seen right there and then, one of those hidden, one of those uh, hidden uh, ashen bullets. But as I was saying, as you know, it's, there'll be different versions of uh, enemies, as a uh, different version of the mimic, depending on rarity. The, what? I'll be honest, I just sort of started sliding and I ain't none too sure how that started happening. But we got a heart. In exchange for more, ooh. In exchange for curse, we get cheaper items. But I ain't thinking it's worth the price. Although, curse bullets, I think it makes it stronger for more curse. So if anything, it makes it more useful. Now, I ain't sure how much curse we got, but if the dragon is cursed, that's gonna be mighty tough. Oh, they ain't. I reloaded too fast now. And as you see, the bullet started curving. Power of the Omen bullets. Now, I know that could have been using screen space wise for a bit. Actually, that's it. I, I just know it could be confusing. But here is where the fight saver really shines. And ordinarily, you're supposed to dodge. But now, you just run right through. Now, just unload and hope you kill it. Doing it in one run is obviously best, but. Ain't no shame doing it in more than one. Now, here's what I meant by additional support. Let's get this out. Ordinarily, you'd be it, you'd go to the end and uh get the gun like a kill a pass and you'd kill your past. Or, and run. But as you can see, there's this hole. Now, I believe once you kill your past, I, I think it's one. I, I don't remember if, you, if it's the character you kill the past as, or after you kill the four base characters past. You unlock this extra path to a 
six base level of bullet hell. Some say this is where all cowboys go when they die. But the layout of this level is something unique. As in, it follows a pattern. What is used differentiates. It's like it differs. Like, there'll be two rooms that loop around, and this one just dead end right off. As you saw, we got the dead end. But this level could be seen as the ultimate test. You need all your wits about you. You'll need your mental stack completely put together. And we got a rare pot fairy. You destroy environmental objects, mostly pots. There's a teeny tiny chance that a little fairy pop out. It's quite surprising. And that's what mostly catches people off guard. Far away from the poopy lawn, those primitive bullets can really put a shock on you. What in here? I know I said I tried my dash and then I went to Iron Man's shops. Here, but he is not a such thing. Here, you want to make a beeline to the boss as fast as possible. Because like I said, every room was a test of your mental staff. If you fail, every room is a chance to lose a lot of health. You are down to do that. You want to be able to get through as quickly as possible. And also, with no entrance, the health machine with all the health at bonus health collection only spawns at the end. As you can see, it's very caught off guard. But it ain't none. If you can get, if you can get set your head straight. Easy than plucking flowers. Of course, if you don't show it proper respect, he's asking to be gored by the bull. You gotta keep you gotta keep your wits and play smart. This ain't no this ain't no Sunday drive. But, going through the challenge, and making it through the end, despite all that you're faced against, why, wow, it's just sweet and pie. Now, if I remember the patterns correctly, I'll just loop around to here. But I'm just get what I get to do and go this way. Test your mental type of ways you want to play. You want to be ready to use everything you've got to the most powerful extent. Like that Reaper I ate as a cheese. Normally, you, want, you can't you can hurt him, much less kill him. As a cheese, instantly destroy anything you run into. I'm 
Almost there. Almost there. Feeling of victory is so close to now that you can almost taste it. All your effort close to paying off. Remember, ain't no excuse to get sloppy now. Every bit counts. You don't want to lose the thing. Final stretch. Now you want to be careful doing this. So caught up on it, I, I nearly forgot to switch to my snot to my rifle. But we got two more phases to work through, so we still got plenty of time to put it to work. Afraid to use everything you got. Now bring this to your home stretch. Just when you think it's done, the witch is back. Cowboy versus cowboy. Well, rat versus cowboy. But rat is controlled by a cowboy. You're sure. to rest you after all. Such a victory after such a long time away. And as a first video, hmm, sweeter than pie. Now, I know I got a long way to go. And in all honesty, I got an actual microphone in order, but I just couldn't hold on. I needed to make a video. And I need to make this my first video. It's my inspiration after all. Inspiration from the real. Heart. Performance. Everything real. Now, I know I didn't lean much into the magic cowboy stick of things. But I admit, I was just more nervous than anything else. I'm going to try up on the quality once I get that mic, mic, pot filter, the whole shebang. Until next time, this has been Cowboy Tuber, the only mage cowboy wandering the grass, wandering the west. If you like this, feel free to stick around in the future.